Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Shala. So today in our video, we are going to take a case-based scenario. So the case-based scenario is on cry. Cry from endodontics. Cry, what is cry? It is not an abbreviation for anything. It is the normal emotion crying that we show in all our uh, phases of, of, of our life. So let's just see how we should tackle this uh, crying emotion which is experienced uh, especially in pedo patients when uh, they are coming for the dental treatment. So the expression of cry at different ages. So as we know, we express our grief, sorrow, and uh, the cry uh, in uh, differently in different ages. So let's just see how it is experienced. So at birth, so at birth, it is the primary emotion that a child experiences. Like so, it the child expresses it as a primary emotion for anything. If he is hungry, he will express that. If he is uh, uh, having any disturbance, he'll express it as a cry. So it is the primary emotion that is being experienced expressed at the birth. Then coming uh, when the child reaches by six months. So it is greatly replaced by the milder expression or fussing or vocalization. Okay. So it is greatly uh, experienced as a fussing. Okay. Then during preschool, preschool, uh, the, as the child grows, the expression like of his grief or sorrow decreases, like uh, it decreases uh, from uh, 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 experiencing a lot, exp expressing it as a loud cry to a normal thing. So during preschool, what happens? It is seen less. So uh, only like physical pain or anything uh, by the external environment that is itself is experienced, is expressed. And during school years, he'll outgrow, he'll outgrow the crying habit. So it, uh, till 15 years, crying occurs seldom. And as an young adult, as we all know, only in private, the crying is expressed. As a, like grief is expressed as a cry only in the private most mostly. So, and then coming to the different types of cry so this different types of cry is uh, classified based on the based on how the pedo patients respond to treatments like dental treatments is exclusively okay so the different types of cry are four types of cry are there that is obstinate hurt compensatory and frightened so let's just see each of them uh, one by one obstinate cry so the obstinate cry is a uh, is the where the child shows a temper tra tantrum. So the child shows temper tantrums to the dental treatment. So when they are showing temper tantrums, it is obvious that it is loud and high pitched, right? Then loud and high pitched, and especially what you have to remember here, here is the cry is like siren. They will not stop and it is very high pitched. It is like a siren. Okay. And then forms a belligerent cry. Represents child's external response to the anxiety. Okay. Then coming to hurt cry. Hurt cry is loud and more frequent. So it is loud and more frequent. It does not like uh, come as a short burst. It is loud and it is more frequent. Like, they frequently cry. Then it is accompanied by whimper. So he does not, the child does not stop crying in between this loud uh, cry duration. They keep on doing sounds like mm, mm, like that. You might have uh, seen that in your uh, 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 dental experience during your pedo uh, postings. So initially the child shows a single tear from the corner of eye running down the cheek without making sound or resistance to treatment. They don't show resistance to treatment, but they keep on making sounds, very mild sounds, very this thing, uh, expressing their uh, uh, grief or anxiety towards dental uh, treatment in such a way. Okay. Then coming to the compensatory cry. So compensatory cry is not a cry at all. So it is not a cry at all. Then why are we discussing it? So let's just see what it is. So cry, it is not a cry at all, means it is very slow and monotone. You barely can notice that the child is crying. Uh, they'll just experience like uh, when you make a, a loud noise, especially you know that uh, child children are very um, 
uh, frightened with the injections they are frightened with the sound of the drill that is the uh, our air rotor uh, sound so these are the specific uh, factors which uh, make the child uh, get more anxious about the treatment and uh, after uh, uh, seeing such auditory stimuli like the, it, it, because of these they start crying previously they they are not that uh, this thing towards the treatment they are not that against towards the treatment but when they find these auditory stimuli especially like um, uh, the drill or any other thing then they start finding himself uncomfortable to the situations uncomfortable to the treatment then they start as a slow monotone thing so they just experience it as a express it as a like a slow thing like in uh, slowly they start so that is compensatory cry then coming to the frightened cry so frightened cry obviously the child is like he is frightened by the treatment so it is accompanied by tears he will have convulsive breath with catching shops you know how they'll do like that they'll do right so they are overwhelmed by the situation and a sharp shrilled and extremely high pitched cry sharp shrilled extremely high pitched cry it is extremely high pitched then that we see in the obstinate cry okay so it is like very sharp but uh, they keep on doing it okay so this is what is frightened cry so i hope you understood what it is like all the different types of cries now so let's just see the question that was asked in the recent exam in the ENI set May 2023. So they gave a situation like silent type of cry is actually the situation is like uh, they might have given it as a question of uh, uh, like a case based but I'm just start taking the gist of the question. So si silent type of cry is siren type of cry siren whenever you are Catching this word as siren, you have to come to the conclusion that the cry is. So what is the siren type of cry? Which we have seen in the first slide, it is nothing but obstinate cry. So the answer will be the obstinate cry. Okay. So I hope you have understood what cry in pedodontics is. So if you like our video do uh, like the video subscribe it share it to your friends so that they also know what different types of cries are and you can also follow us on instagram at dokshala and dokshala medical uh, for medical content and you can also find us on telegram and with the same name dokshala so you can just uh, go there and subscribe to us thank you